Hi guys, it's way too early for Fool of the Week, but this Tory MP would certainly be a candidate for it. As we know, generally there's a problem with voter turnout. At by-elections it can be as low as 20%. This means that those who do vote are in a stronger position to decide for everyone else. Now following the election of the new SNP leader Humza Youssef, the Tories will be trying all sorts of dirty tricks to unseat the SNP at the next general election. And when it comes to providing an alternative in Scotland, this is what an English MP had to say. The vast majority uh, of young people, 80% of 18, actually almost all the way up to 45 year olds, are pro independent. I mean, you know, how are you going to win those people over? Well, um, very sadly, sometimes young people don't vote. <laughs> okay, there you have it. Young people don't vote. So the Tories are not going to actually rely on convincing young people to vote for them. They're going to rely on young people in Scotland not voting. So what should young people in Scotland do when the Tories tell them, just don't bother turning up and voting? You should turn up and vote. <laughs> A majority of young people are concerned about their future. Now, this is no offence to older people, but generally older people are not thinking about the future, they're thinking about the past, or they're thinking about the present. But for young people, they want to know, okay, well, what is our future? We're a European nation. We're pro-EU. What are the Tories offering us? Well, they're offering, they're not offering us a path back into the European Union. They're not offering us freedom of movement. They're not pro-European at all, it seems. And I, look, I, I have to assume the Tories in Scotland are the same as the ones in Westminster. Brexit is a good idea. There was a Tory MP who, was, who couldn't actually come up with any benefits of Brexit, but she didn't say it was a bad idea. So w what are the Tories offering young people in Scotland? Nothing. So they're hoping that they won't come out and vote. But generally, I believe young people do vote in Scotland in large numbers. So it's going to be pretty bad for the Tories at the next election when it comes to young people. I think the real battle, will, of course, will be between the SNP and the Labour Party. Now, the Labour Party are not offering independence, of course, just the SNP. So what are the Labour Party offering? Uh, more devolution? More money from Westminster, perhaps? I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. It's not part of any manifesto yet. And you're going to see polling maybe change over the next number of months. But as I said before, ignore the polling until there's an, a general election. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think about all of this. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.